Yeah. Are we on? Hey guys, what's up, YouTube? Episode 28. Jamie's back there, my wife. Tyler, he's right here, Etiana, Adina. Episode 28, we are back. We're gonna do something a little bit different tonight. Um, so let me make sure that I'm good to go. You guys wanna say anything to the- uh, YouTubers. YouTubers. YouTubies. YouTubies. YouTubes? <laughs> what are they called? YouTubies? YouTubers? The, the YouTuber is the... I don't know. The the person YouTubers. Who's YouTubers. Yeah, we are YouTubers. <laughs> they are YouTubies. They are. That's so weird. Okay. They're the viewers. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Audience. Just make sure. They're the viewers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so your mics are good. I'm, I'm trying to make sure you're not peeking on the it's, mic. I think it's my laugh. I really do. No. Who's that? There's nothing wrong with your laugh. Oh, I agree. Okay. It's just loud. You just. No, yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We should do it through this. So you can get your nails on camera. Yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> are you guys ready? What are you reading down there, bro? Oh, I, I got a. They're just sitting down there the reading. Second, no, Twilight. I'm not reading right now. Oh, the what? The wow. What? The second period. Twilight. Government. This guy's on the government. Show on the off, dude. Good book. Yeah, it should be. Thank you. What? 1982? Oh, um, well, no, uh, it came out like before, like the founding of the country. Like a, a lot of the. Yeah, but I don't know when that one was made, but it's all good, bro. Yeah, it's all good. good. What'd you get? Uh, half price book. Yes. There you go. All right. My favorite. Tyler bringing in the half price books. Are y'all ready? Yes. Nope. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. All right. Three. Two. Right. It's weird not hearing, so you guys are going to have to help yeah. me out. Three. No, you sound good. Two. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Made For More podcast, Made For More Consulting podcast, episode 28. Tonight, we are going to uh, continue doing something a little bit different, um, and we're going to talk to two more of our team members, and next week, we'll wrap it up with one last person on our team, but tonight, we're going to be talking to Adina and Etiana. Welcome back, guys, and Tyler is also in the room if you watch YouTube, and my wife is right outside the room, so you won't see her. But, um, yeah, check us out on YouTube, follow us. We continue to get a few more followers every week, so uh, thanks for subscribing. But yeah, tonight we're back on episode 28. We continue to hear from you guys and get some amazing support. So, uh, Adina, any new news recently? I'm not sure what you're asking me about. No, I don't mean you're moving. I am moving, but is That's that really important news. to... Me. I mean, listen, in my own life, yeah, yes, we are moving, we're packing, we're excited. Two vacations planned in the next few weeks. Where's that? No, we Rosie. <laughs> Everybody wants to know. Well, I'm going to the beach for one of them. Oh, even though going to what, meet a wait, friend. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's a beach? Because Texas is our beach. Yes, they are. Yes, Fort Aransas is a beach. Absolutely, one hundred percent. It is the ocean. Huntington, is, Huntington Beach is a beach. Santa Monica. Beautiful. Too many, but I'm just saying, go to the Texas beach is not as bad as people think it is. It's brown water. <laughs> it is not clear. Okay. What's your other vacation? To the beach. I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm meeting a friend for a girls' weekend. Oh, oh yeah. nice, sweet, legit. Okay, well. Um, we're going to get started tonight. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking to Etiana and Adina. I would probably, um, they don't have, they have no idea what we're going to be saying. So last week, Adina kind of put me on the spot on some of these questions. Uh, just shared a little bit more about Made For More and where it's going. And I did say, stay tuned and what's to come. So there's some big things coming from Made For More in the next month uh, and in the next six months. So stay tuned for that. But tonight, episode 28, here we go. Um, I will probably ask you guys a question and then each one of you just answer. So um, I know that we don't have multiple or three mics. So uh, those of you that are watching on YouTube, we're gonna get to see behind the scenes. But uh, tonight, let's just, again, just a conversation. I know that <clears throat> the three of us used to work in our office and we just talk about things and um, we just talk about certain things and then we had a couple meetings as a team here, and those kind of halted for a little bit just because of our schedules. But we're gonna uh, pick up just like we're having a conversation tonight. So, are you guys ready? Yes. Etiana can't stop laughing, guys. So I'm doing my best. Um, so <clears throat> I'll start with uh, I'll start with Etiana, and then Adina, you can be thinking about the answer to this. But Etiana, you know, you and I have known each other. You were a student in my. Uh, 
guess like my student ministry when I was a youth pastor and then um, you kind of volunteered and you came on staff where we worked together but <clears throat> now you're here um, and we'll, we'll talk about your role here in a little bit but one of the questions I wanted to ask you first is what do you what do you like Etiana feel it takes to be a part of this team so this made for more team um, if it was if, if I was on the outside looking in and you're out and about you're not around me Adina Jamie Tyler no, none of us and someone comes up and says hey what does it take to be a part of the uh, made for more team what do I need to bring to the table if I want to come join this team yeah I think the first thing that comes to mind is growth mindset mm -hmm. right because I mean throughout our whole relationship friendship whatever I mean I met you when I was a kid mm -hmm. and I mean I'm still super young and cool how old but, are you? Tell everybody how old you are. I'm 23 years old. Okay. Yeah, 23 and a half, thank you. Yeah. Um, but a lot of this has been learning how to grow and how to not just grow as a human, but like actually grow up. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I was a sophomore in high school when I first met you, started going to where we met at church. Um, and so I think growth mindset is to be one of those things. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing is humility. Yeah. Right. I think that's something that I've learned a lot of when I mess up being able to just bring it to the table first and say like, yep. hey, I created a gap, but I want to do better. Yep. You know, how can I fix that? So within the last three months, or uh, no, I'd say within the last uh, five months, you've had a job change, you've had a role change, mm -hmm. and then you've moved out of your house. I sure did. So that's a lot of change. So yeah. how does that, with what you just said, growth mindset, humility, how does that play into what, so you're part of Made For More, how does mm -hmm. what, have just gone through how did made for more fit into that i think the first thing was the job change mm -hmm. um we did an episode i don't know was it episode 10 Might where we been. talked about like figuring out your why and so much of that like i sat in that room took those notes and i as i do every week like figure out how do i apply this to my own life right how is this applicable to me um, us as a team and what i figured out was that my why is about creating, right? I want to be someone who creates beautiful things. I want to be someone who creates things that are impactful to other people, mm -hmm. who inspires them to grow and change themselves. And the role I was in had part of that. Um, it just wasn't as much as I wanted. Yeah. And so that is probably where, I mean, I left, we were looking at that timeline the other day, mm -hmm. and I think maybe two weeks, I had submitted a resume to a new job, and. Yeah. I mean, within a month, I was gone. Yeah, so just so you guys know, um, Etiana sits here, and it's not that she's just sitting here. She's sitting here putting notes together and ideas and thoughts of how to create content and how to create images and videos for what we tell you guys and what we share with you guys. And so what's interesting is when me, my wife, Adina, Etiana, and Tyler are here, and we're sharing things. What's funny is when we leave here and we go, man, I've learned something tonight. And that's what I remember that night that you, you were uh, a little bit emotional just because you knew that you needed to make a change in your life. Mm -hmm. And so what's interesting is I would think that, I mean, all of us at some point have had the conversation of there's going to be change in the future. <laughs> um, and it started with the app for me seeing it in the podcast. So, um, yeah, so you, you're saying humility and a willingness to grow. And I think the willingness to grow is something that we all, um, we don't keep each other accountable because I, I, don't, I don't I don't like that word, I don't like that phrase. But it's it's something that we all do because that's what's expected and that's what made for more. So I think, yeah, we yeah. invite each other to be a part of this, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. So cool, Adina, let me, let me ask you, so you and I, can, we still work together. Um, we're doing this whole podcast and like Etiana does, she does so much of the creative side, but she also is leadership driven, meaning wherever she's, where she's working, and we'll get to this in a little bit, but where she's working, she brings uh, leadership that she's learned here to that team. Um, so she takes made for more where she works. But for us, you know, we work together, we've done this together, we work together forever. Our families, our, our friends, our families are friends. Um, We've known each other for a while, 13 years. So when we talk about made for more, um, she's saying, I, I asked her, what is it, what is it 
feel to be a part of this team? What does it take to be a part of this team for you? Um, let me ask you this. What what would you say to someone that says, hey, what are you getting from being a part of this Made For More podcast, the team? What is it, what is it all about for you? When I listen to that question, I think about that for me, it is that I love that Made For More is not internally driven, that everything is about how you can motivate and inspire and encourage other people. Mm -hmm. And I think that there are a lot of organizations out there who they want to do those things, but when you read through the lines, they want to do it because they want to be famous or they yeah. want to be a star or they want to be whatever it is yeah. in their own mind. And that is not what Make For More is about, yeah. you know? Um, and I think that is what is really attractive to me because what I want is I want to impact people. I want to influence people. Um, I feel like that's what I was created to do. And that Made For More just fits right in there because of the values that it holds. Yeah. yeah, and so we didn't, this is just, I think, something that naturally happened. You and I, I think, work well together, whether it's on the, you know, whether it's a pre-show or a post-show for some of the stuff that we do on camera, um, whether it's in ministry, whether it's for events. Um, I think it was just a natural flow to go, hey, I think, and last week, put together like an Oprah show mentality of interviewing me and I'm not that good of an Oprah. Um, so, but like, um, again, our, our work ethic is, 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 is pretty high. And so, um, you saying all that again, it's not about you. It's about us as a team. So what is it that has impacted you so far this year? Let's say just this year, uh, with, with made for more. Cause I mean, we launched the podcast in January 10th. Um, but you and I have talked about this before, and we'll get to that in a second. But just this year, how how do you think this has impacted your life? Because there's other things that you do outside of here. There, there are so. other things. But I think the biggest thing was actually launching the podcast because of that. Because we had talked about it for so long. Mm -hmm. And it was when we finally said, okay, like, we're going to do this. We're going to set the date and we're going to do it. It created a lot of momentum. Yeah. And, and as soon as that happened, I think that kind of inspired me to then look at my own life and say, okay, what is it that I have been saying I was going to do mm -hmm. and I haven't done? It's, it's a good idea, but I just haven't done it. Yeah. And so made for more creative momentum than into my own life mm -hmm. where there were things that I needed <coughs> to kind of have that same, like, it's time. Yeah. And and so that's that's what happened. Yeah. And I think there has been a lot of there's been a lot of change in my life over the last six months, and since we did the podcast because of that momentum. Is which is what I mean. It's okay to share all that. So it's okay to share all of like what are some of the things well, that changed and what have you started? Well, I did. So I started like my own. Um, I hate the title life coach. Um, so coaching. I like coaching. I life like strategist. life strategist oh, much better. Wow. It, it just sounds like because I don't I I know what's different is I don't want to coach somebody I want to give them a strategy and a plan and a vision for their own life because I, I I have this weird thing about coaching I think a lot of times it can kind of go back to that ownership versus accountability people want somebody in their life to meet with them hold their hand that's not what I want to do yeah. you know I want you to be at the place where you're like I have all of this I want to do. I want you to help me make it happen. Mm -hmm. Great. We can do that. We, we can make a strategy. We can make a yeah. plan. I can help you get a vision. That's what I want to do. And yeah. that's what I do for people. And that's what you're doing, yeah. And that's what I'm doing. So I've done some classes. I'm doing some training for some private schools, which is kind of about kind of the same thing. They're brand yeah. new. Yeah. And, you know, one of them very specifically really is brand new and they've never worked together and they want to create a value system for their school. That's and good. so, um, they reached out and that's, you know, I'm excited about doing that. And that led to some other things, working for some financial consultants and now helping them onboard their clients based on what, what, what their dreams and goals are for their money. And so it's kind of thinking outside of the box. And so that's been really exciting. That's awesome. I know. Um, I'm starting to get really busy. Yeah, that's but good. I love it. I love it. It's great. Yeah, yeah. and so again, that started this year. Mm -hmm. um, all, all within like the last six months. Yeah. So, do you think that this played a role in that? Oh, for pushing, sure. Pushing you. For sure. 
Yeah. 100%. And I think that's what, and it's like, a, wow, I was getting on the same thing, but I think that's what's interesting is even with my wife just sitting there, Tyler just sitting, every one of us has taken a step and we're not saying I'm going to pay you to keep me accountable. No, we're coming in here. We're just recording content that we believe in that pushes us to do something else. And then that's a trickle into somebody else's life and they go, Hey, what are you doing? Whether it's your first week on the job and you get a pay raise or a, Hey, you got to train someone. You're starting a whole new thing. Me just going, Hey, I'm working with slab, I'm working with other people. Tyler going, you know, you know, going after the air force, losing weight. My wife, the same thing going, Hey, there's a, there's a book I want to read. I want to apply this in the, in my, in my role at my job. And then the people that just, I wouldn't, I hate using the word follow it. They follow us on social media, but they are our friends and they're part of the community, right? Made for more community. And it's so weird to hear them talk to us about it. I'm going, that, that's what made for more is. It's not about me. It's not about us. It's going, it's a community of believers going, we're here to impact, make you see that you do have more, you're made for more, right? But you have more to offer. And I think that is one of the reasons like our community is so important is mm -hmm. because I love hearing what people are doing. Like when they yeah. listen to the podcast or when they finish a book, like what step are they taking? Yeah. Because it's just, it, that creates a lot of like momentum inside of me to like, okay, I got to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So Etiana, when we talk about you, like I said, job change, uh, you don't have to get into all the specifics, but like, I know you and I talked, you, you, you left a, an organization that you were with for a while. Was, was that your first, no, I mean, not first job. I was there for three and a half years. Three and a half years. Mm -hmm. You left, and then within the first three or four weeks, you were already given a position to help train someone, mm -hmm. a raise. And so talk about that. So what one, you know, how has it impacted your life so far, this, this six months? And then, like, what are, you, what are the, the fruits of the labor of being here on the team, but also the community part of it? Yeah, so I think there's two parts that come to mind with that. There's one, what I actually do for my job, what I get paid to do. Um, and I think the other part of that too is I have also started my own thing outside of Way For More, right? Mm -hmm. um, which I think was collateral mission <laughs> mm -hmm. from joining this team. Um, so what I do for a living, I'm a graphic designer um, for a boutique that's in our town. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty small company, it's a family business. There's three, four of us total now that are there that aren't part of the family, me being one of them. It's growing though, right? Yeah, it's growing. Good. And I was there for about a week and I found myself in a position where I could start fresh. And it didn't matter that I was 23, it didn't matter that I was a girl, it didn't matter that I was, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I went in and I was like, I'm gonna apply all of the new leadership things I already know, right? When I started my last job that we worked at together, I was 19. I can't do the math right now. Yeah. But I hadn't learned any of those leadership. Yeah, there's no talk of ownership. Or yeah. Account not accountability, but like checking yeah. in. Yeah, ownership. Or, or um, weekly meetings. Detachment. Let's yep. be real. That's for everybody listening. That's my thing. I am the yeah. emotional girl here on this team. Um, so I have, I have a lot to is. learn. I learned a lot um, with the three and a half years that we worked together. So it was really cool to go and start fresh at a place and talk to people who have not heard these things. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that showed a lot in my work ethic. That showed a lot in how I interacted with other people on the team. Mm -hmm. um, I was a very relational based, right? We talk about John. He's all about people and I'm the same way. Like yeah. if I meet you, you're my friend immediately. Yeah. Um, if you're working and you need help, I'm gonna be there. Yep. So within the first week, I, I guess, had just been a different type of employee that they've had. Mm -hmm. um, and they had hired somebody else to come in and do some help. And this person was not taught how to take initiative, right? Yeah. They're waiting to be told like, hey, you know, this is what we need you to do before they would get up and start working. Yeah, don't so, be said to go after, you know, <laughs> yeah. after make sure you get things done. Yeah. Absolutely, just bust your butt yeah. and make, Make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah. Um, so I had this conversation with somebody that with that, that person, and I was like, "Hey, like, what do you do here? What do you want to be doing? You know, do you enjoy this job?" Um, and basically came out that this person was like, "Well, I, I do what I told, but nobody's really told me to do anything today." So I was like, "Oh, like, why do you have to wait to be told, right?" Yeah. Um, and my the owner of this company shows up in the middle of this conversation where I'm like, "Just work. Like, do what you want. <laughs> so if you want to learn something, ask." And 
I'll teach yeah. you what I'm doing. Like somebody else, I'm sure is willing to teach you what they're learning. Yeah. Um, and so in the middle of this conversation on my like first week of work, the owner comes in and hears this and she pulls me aside and she's like, Hey, what are you talking about? Yeah. I was like taking initiative, you know, yeah. going after it, not waiting. And, uh, she was like, well, any chance you want to train our new buyers? <laughs> I was like, uh, it's been, I've been here for like five days, lady. Are you sure about that? And yep. she was like, yeah, absolutely. So I started learning how to train people. And we've had two other people come on board since then that I've trained. And they work with me every week. And um, I love it. Yeah, so if we stop right there real quick, even with Adina anywhere, like even with Jamie going to school, back to work at the school with Tyler mm -hmm. again, I'm just using us as an example here. But anyone, if you take the principles that we usually teach and the things we say over and over again, like detachment, taking ownership of some things, and we're not the ones that came up with it, but if you take those things and you apply them wherever you're at, whether it's work, home, a job, a team, whatever, I think those are the results that we keep hearing from people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's teachers that we've heard from, um, yeah, people that own the companies, that if you are that person, you step into this environment and they're not used to that, they're gonna see something different in you because you're practicing these things. Yeah. So. Um, I think the other thing too is being brave enough to say something, right? Because yeah. mm -hmm. it is scary to be the new person and, and yeah. be the different person. Mm -hmm. But um, like I say, I just do it scared, right? Yeah. I'm scared to talk to some new person and say like, hey man, like. Let's step it up. We can do better than this. Yeah. And I did it and it paid off. He was a better employee for it. I was a better leader for it. And our company as a whole was better for it because it doesn't, we're both producing. Yeah. So. And I think the one thing I want people to know about us is we don't get paid here yet. Um, but the thing is too, is uh, it doesn't matter if you're the uh, inventory control, the, <laughs> the, the marketing and design, on the podcast, whatever it is, the thing is, is that we're all gonna push each other to use the steps that we say. Mm -hmm. Ownership, um, you know, make sure that you're owning it, make sure you bring it up, detach. We try to push each other to make sure we're practicing what we say because I think the one thing that <clears throat> I don't ever want it to be is to be have made for more to be a community or an organization where we don't practice what we preach. I mean, that has to be the foundation. But like Dean said earlier, it's not about us, it's about seeing life change and, and you're made for more, so when you leave here, you're gonna be made for more wherever you're at, mm -hmm. and it's just the way of living, so. Um, yeah, so that's how it's impacted your life this year so far. I mean, you've had a lot of change in the last six months. Yes, sir. So, um, and so yeah, I guess the next thing that I wanna ask, uh, I'll, I'll ask you, Etienne, first, mm -hmm. is, um, so you said you have something else going on uh, that you do on the side. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? I mean, you're creative, right? You, yeah. You're way more creative than I am. So <laughs> well, I don't know if I do that more. <laughs> we give you an idea and you take it and you put words to it, images to it, video mm -hmm. to it. So tell us what else you do. Yeah, so I am a brand consultant mm -hmm. and a content creator. So I can go in. So this is basically, for those of you who don't know, I kind of was like a last minute join to the team. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with you a few months before we started the podcast, just with like t-shirt ideas. Yeah. Um, because that's just something I, that's a skill I picked up up where we worked together. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the weekend your podcast was supposed to launch. You yeah. were, you had invited, oh, we, you asked for me to help you produce it, right? Because I'd done that also. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how to get this out there. <laughs> I don't know how to put this online. Yeah. And I knew how to do that. So I hopped on to help you with that. And I looked at your website. Mm, and I was like, like dude. <laughs> well, I was like, your podcast is about to launch in like two days. and. Your website's not up. Yes. Um, so very quickly, I mean, we were sitting here in our living room. I was like, let me just sketch something up for you, mm -hmm. and see if you like it. And if you do, I'll you know, put it together. And 24 yeah. hours later, you have a website. Yeah. Um, but then that started the road of where you're at now. Yeah. Right? So it's that's kind of that, something's there. Yeah. So those were skills that I picked up where I was working beforehand, mm -hmm. and then the weekend that the podcast was supposed to start, I did that for you and for Made For More. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely loved it. Something about making someone else's dreams come true and like come to life just sparked this fire in me. And I didn't realize it until probably episode 10 of this podcast, but you know, what I really wanna do is create content that helps people see your impact. I want people to see you and your mission, your business, because and you're made for more. That's what, that's the bottom line. Yeah. That's what's funny is 
we from, from even the creative side of it, mm -hmm. we want people to see that they're made for more. Absolutely. So my my dream and my job, what I do is I take your mission and I make it come to life. And on the I help you impact other people. Yeah, on online. Yeah. Um, everything basically online presence I, I do. I can create content for you, I can build your website. If you want a logo made, Adina, I help you with your stuff. I, I did Adina's logo, yeah. her website, <clears throat> made our website, um, and I help run our social media. So I do that to some degree for some clients. I'm still in the middle of figuring out all my things, um, yeah. what all I want to offer, but that, that's what I do is I help people basically put together their brand and their, their brand identity. Nice. Yeah. Well, good, good. And I think um, uh, what I want you guys to see is that coming out of uh, a year that everybody wants to throw freaking excuses at mm -hmm. 2020, um, I think when we started uh, putting videos out, I'm not, I'm not calling, I mean, yes, mentally some people struggled with COVID and staying in, but you did take the situation, right? So we got after it. It took me a little bit to launch the podcast, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, you got to determine what you're going to do for your life and not have any regrets and say what if and you got to say now is the time whether it's like you said doing it with fear mm -hmm. uh, but you never you never know if you're not going to try so um <clears throat> so Nina, a question for you um so you are helping people outside there you're coaching you and i have again worked together quite a bit what is the cost of going after what you want to do i'm, I'm asking like what what would you share with people is the cost of us doing this? One, we're not getting paid yet. <laughs> and I know you dream financially, like, hey, we're going to fly jets. I know, I know. Mar yeah, this. Mario, I'm like, let's go. Come on so, now. So, Dina, when we first met, I remember first, one of our first meetings, I remember you going, oh, hey, build the budget this way. And I was like, we can't build the budget that way. Like, yeah, we're going to make money. And I'm like, that's yeah, right. Like, yes. you helped me remember that there's a way to build a business so that we're set up not just financially like as individuals but for the business to go we got to keep growing because we want people to know we're made for more and financially there's there's parts to that so yeah well but, i think with that i think about that the budget is is that i want made for more to be vision driven i want us to have a big vision yes and i relate finances like directly to that like if yeah. we're going to have a conference we're going to do it right you know we're gonna we are going to have something that is <laughs> very well put together yes and um it you know and so that's that's why it's we're vision driven we're, yeah. we're not gonna let finances dictate what we do so the cost meaning when i ask this question not so so shifting Shift gears okay. cost I got it. as in life it, right for sure so you know my very the very first thing i think about is it a lot of it is time you know for me I, I do work, I have a lot of kids, um, I have a very busy, just a busy, like, um, I'm very involved with a lot of people's lives, and yeah. I will just, and so it is, I mean, it is one thing, it is that classic, I come home from work, and I, then I go and I work on, like, my other stuff, you know, and a lot of times that means, you know, like, I had to call at, like, three o'clock the other day, and I ran home from work and I was yelling at the kids to be quiet and shut everybody in. There's moving boxes behind me. I mean, but it just is what it is, you know, yeah. but I think a lot of that comes from, it's just, I made the decision to sacrifice my time. And, um, yeah. and I, I don't think, it, I know that it pays off. I know that it's already paid off and I know that it will continue to pay off. And, and I hope that one day I can find a better balance with yeah. that. But for right now, I still have to do all of the things. Yeah, because that's just part of it, right? It's just, it's just where we are. So if somebody's about to jump, make the leap to do something for themselves, what would you tell them? I think that you have to know that you're, it's like it's like a, a seesaw, you know, that you're, you're going to, you're naturally going to get a little out of balance. Mm -hmm. um, but I can see the other side coming. And I don't think that you can go all in on something that you're doing on your own if when you have like when you have a job, you can't just quit your job and just do exactly. this. I think you have to you have to create some momentum. You have to build up to that. You know, you have to make those relationships, and and that it takes a sacrifice. But I just keep thinking I'd be spending my time doing something else. Yeah. And everybody, you know, we all have the same amount of time in the day. We talk about this all the time. I get up really early in the morning. 
that it is for me that's not when I exercise or whatever you know what I do I clean my house I you know I get all my stuff ready for my kids for the day so when they get up I'm ready to go they're ready to go and we can have a great day yeah so I mean like like we're saying the cost and whether it's you waking up at early waking up early waking up early waking up early whatever it is going um you just have to figure out what works for you basically right mm -hmm. and if you want to go after that dream bad enough make the adjustments yeah. you got to have time for yourself make it like you said it's a seesaw but make the adjustments but understand that you're going to have to put in work like you're going to have to put in work that no one else is putting in and i think that that is <laughs> one of the like the myths that people or the side that people don't see is how much goes into something that you're doing on the side how many hours you spend and just it it's just something I don't think people see I think they're like oh this is so easy well it is really easy but it also I mean the fact that now you know we have we had I read a lot but then I'm like well I have to add one more book that I have to read and yeah. take notes on and it it's worth it but it's a sacrifice yeah. you know and so that means that when I'm in the car I'm listening to the book I maybe at the stoplight highlighting stuff mm -hmm. it just you yeah, it's just like, make it work for your for yourself. Yeah, and it's 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 challenging to your schedule because to me I'm one I like being on time. But the other day I'm like, that's you know, I didn't have a post. I didn't put a post out. It's on me. It's my fault. And I'm going, where is my life? Is life is that seesaw out of balance? And it's on the other side. And I'm going, <clears throat> something has to give so that made for more can have more time. But I'm not going to forfeit my family. I'm on vacation. And so I'm going, okay, I got to rebalance that seesaw. And usually it's that brain dump where I just write everything down and go, okay, something has to give. But then you got to go, okay, but I have responsibilities over here. And, and like you said, it's a constant balance. I don't think there's this special formula, but I think if, like you said, I, I, I want people to understand if you're going to go after what you want, whether it's a position, a role, uh, something in life or journey, it's going to take work. One, one of the best like pieces of advice I heard on the podcast was they basically said, you know, when you decide to do something like this, if you're going to go after it, like talk to your family, talk to your friends, tell your friends, mm -hmm. you know what, for the next three months, for the next six months, I'm mm -hmm. going to say no to, to happy hours and birthday yeah. dinners and, you know, tell your spouse when I'm working, I'm, this is what I'm doing because this yeah. is my goal. And my husband and I, we had a conversation kind of like that. And he was like, yeah, like he basically, he was really good at saying, sacrifice the family. Like take your, take your six months, take your year and we will make it happen yeah. because I believe that you will come out on the other side. Yeah. And so that has been very, very helpful that I don't feel an added pressure yeah. of, you know, like mm -hmm. extra responsibility yeah. from his expectation. And so that's like the discipline equals freedom, put in the work now and you'll get the payoff later. It's the same. Yeah. Jamie and I had that conversation. We still battle it sometimes just because the schedule, my schedule is pretty Field. And when there's downtime, if we're with us, I, I tend to look at my phone. I tend to go, hey, man, I got to text someone. I got to do this. And so, but then <clears throat> having her a part of the team, there's a lot of growing pains there as well. That she'll share with next week. Hopefully, she'll be candid and authentic enough just to share it. Would you like me to interview her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk today. But, uh, but yeah, you're right. I think that you just got to remember that it's going to take work and it's going to take time, but continue to, to push forward and don't give up. Don't, man, don't give into that. And, uh, and there's sometimes that you're not going to work on what you should be working on. There's times that I was like, man, I haven't worked on made for more for a little bit, but yeah. So, um, it's Yana. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I know that, uh, I'll ask you to speak into with Made For More is each one of us has a role and it's the same thing with Adina, mm -hmm. the same thing with you, same thing with my wife. And I know Jamie, Jamie has a, she's like said, hey, I'll do this part. So as Made For More grows, there's gonna be other roles that, that can be filled that maybe Jamie naturally fits in, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm using her as an example because you do graphic design. None of us can do that. I think we can learn it, but none of us do that to where I go, Adina has a specific uh, expertise too. Like she interviews, she has this thought process of budget, of, or um, what's it called? Vision. Vision with uh, the budget and all that strategy. Mm -hmm. But I do not, <clears throat> I don't step in there and go, hey, teach me how to do this. Don't, or, and I don't go, hey, you need to show me how to do that. Because one of our key things is we gotta be decentralized, which means I gotta let you lead your area, her, same thing that's going to be with Jamie, anyone else that joins, because if I'm the bottleneck, then Made For More is not going to grow. 
So what we try to teach people in leadership is to go, you may be the owner, you may be the founder, but you can't do everything. Mm -hmm. So speak into how decentralized has maybe impacted us. Mm -hmm. Because really, when you said, hey, I'll read to the website, I was a little scared, but then I was like, <laughs> but I trust her, there's a relationship. And then when yeah. you're like, hey, I'll run some of the socials, I'm like, we wake up sometimes and I'll be like, man, did you see what was posted on our, on our <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? I had no idea. Yeah. So yeah, speak into that. Well, I think for me, just being on the this side of it, like mm -hmm. having a leader who trusts you enough to let you lead in your own area, I think for myself, it's built my confidence a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I know that I can just do. And with one, I we have a relationship, right? I know I have, have taken the time to know your values, your brand, who you are, what our mission is. So I'm never gonna put out content that's you know not who Made For More is. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that's part of this, right? Is putting in the effort and putting in the time to really get to know your boss, getting to know your leader. Um, what they value, what your mission is for your, your company, wherever you're at. And so having the opportunity and the freedom to do, you know, I, I make most of our posts on my own yeah. without really showing it yeah. to you. Um, yeah. Every now and then <coughs> if I have like a question, I'll shoot it over to you beforehand and be like, hey, like, do you have any thoughts about this? Like almost yeah. always it's great job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's right on point. So. Yeah, so I think the biggest impact I see is like confidence in myself, right? I, I genuinely feel that you trust me. Mm -hmm. You put a lot of responsibility and trust into what I do, my job and my task, mm -hmm. um, especially since it's something that everybody's gonna see, right? The yeah. whole community, yeah. anybody who has access to Instagram gets to see you know, the content I put out there. So it's gotta be on point with yeah. who we are and what we do. Yeah. So that, has built a lot of confidence in, I think, who I am and what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, confidence is the key, right? Confidence, yeah. is, well, trust comes and then confidence, and then I think the brand itself moves forward because mm -hmm. we have a trust amongst all of us. Mm -hmm. And I think anytime there's something that uh, we can't create, we say, hey, Tiana, what do you think? And you, you, you say, hey, I can do it this way, I can do it that way. Mm -hmm. Or if we try to create something, you go, hey, <laughs> you should've just asked me. Um, hey, can I a make a background for you? <laughs> yeah. And then the same thing like with Jamie, there's things outside of Made For More that we're like, hey, we asked that Tiana because she's really good at this. And we're like, yeah, ask her. And then you like fix it in two seconds. So, but I want people to understand that it doesn't matter what role you play on the team that you still carry leadership. Yeah. It doesn't matter, it does not matter. And I think that's where anytime I go talk to places, like we had this conversation with one of the organizations, it's like even the busser, that is bussing tables needs to understand the leadership that he or she carries and the mm -hmm. impact because they're not going to be micromanaged. They, you want them to take initiative, go clean that table, do what you got to do, but also greet customers, mm -hmm. make your presence known as not just a busser, you're a part of the team. And so I yeah, think your role is as impactful <laughs> as anybody else's, exactly. right? Yep. Like you've given me a voice to say, Hey Mario, you're supposed to post this yesterday. What yeah, happened? That sucks. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I have to have those conversations with you. But it's but yeah. it's it's the re the relationship that we have on this team, right? That's the expectation. Is I am a part of this team. I'm not the leader. I'm not the owner. I'm not the founder. But I am a part of this team, so I have a responsibility to our team to say, hey, this is a gap that I've noticed. Yeah. Let's fix this together. And it's, right. It's being able to detach from mm -hmm. my end to go, hey, it's nothing personal. This is work. Yeah. And if you want to work, and if you want results, then learn to detach mm -hmm. and. But what's funny is that we didn't get here overnight. I think the three of us worked together quite, quite a while working on these things. And then quickly the, the, the vocab that we used was ownership, detachment, and we all started using it. Mm -hmm. And then we all were checked in that to go, man, I gotta make sure I'm not making excuses, but I'm taking ownership. So mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have maybe a couple questions for you guys, and then I'll ask what you guys want to share about yourself, but maybe maybe one or two more. But. Um, what do you see? I mean, I know Dina asked me that, but what do you see, or what do you want out of Made For More in the next five years? Oh man, I've thought about this a lot. I definitely feel like I want us to be widely known, right? Like I want people to be like, did you guys see Made For More story today? Like that, <laughs> that's how, that's where my yeah. vision is driven, right? Yeah. I'm driven by our content and yeah. I want to be, I don't want to be an influencer, but I want us to be big enough that people all over the world are like checking in with Make For More, right? Yeah. I want us to have content out there that's accessible, that is very cool and 
in trend, like on trend with you know what's going on. I want us to be an organization that's for every type of person, every type of leader. Yeah, that's what I think of, and I think that's where this means the most to me is mm -hmm. being a young leader, right? Yep. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm the youngest on the team. Yes. Yeah. And so that's been where I see this a lot in my life. Is yep. you know that's where a lot of my insecurities were, and that's where. I want to build into others is I don't care how old you are, you're a leader where you're at. Yeah. I got five brothers and a sister that I take all of this stuff to every week and say, This is what I learned today during five yeah. class, right? So Yeah, and it's but what's funny again is I want people to understand that you guys weren't prepped with these questions and that's you saying it because of what we, you know, eat, breathe, sleep, whatever, <laughs> is that we're for other people. It's not about yeah. us. But it takes work and we're gonna we're gonna ask you to do things that are gonna push you outside of the box because that's the same thing that we're having to do. But there are some key things that we can share with you, practical things. And mm -hmm. when you put the practical things that we say into images and videos, mm -hmm. I think people are awesome. I, I mean, I agree. I'm sitting yeah. there going, I think of an app, I think of things that I'm going, how can you create, how can we create this um, community to grow quicker? But then there's also that long game to go, hey, just, just be, do what you can with the people that we're already following us right now, and then we'll, we'll see the impact after. Yeah. So yeah, I um, think in five years we're going to be verified on all platforms <laughs> for real life, and we're going to be <clears throat> going on other people's podcasts. Jocko, I'm looking at you. Man, I'm <laughs> tag him in that. Yeah, I will. I'll make this a sound like. Yeah, there you go. She knows <laughs> how to do that. So Adina, um, you dream financially, which is awesome. I want that, but like honestly, like on a personal level. Um, I don't know, like I said, I haven't asked either one of you on that, but like in five years, what would, what do you want to see? I think one of the biggest things, I, I, my first thought was exactly what Etiana said, was I want us to be known for, to be an organization that, um, I won't say that changes people's lives, but that they point back to for their life change. They point back to, I saw this, I heard this, I went to this conference. But for me, like, I think one of the most magical things is in-person events, you yeah. know? And yeah. I think that there is just something to going to a large in-person event mm -hmm. that's put on really well with, you know, the music and the energy and the motivation. Because I think so many times that's like the touch point that people go to. It's, yeah. you know, something that they strive for, they look forward to. And then, you know, I want to put on large events that when that happens, that that is, like I said, the thing that they go back to and they say, I went to this conference and it was amazing. I learned yeah. this, 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 and this. And from that moment, like, it was like a, a, a snowball, like all this stuff changed. Yeah. And it, that's, that's what I want. That's what that's I awesome. see. You know, I think, I know for you, uh, you know, part of the, you know, organization is in like business consulting. And I think that that is a going to be a huge part of it. But I also think that that one-on-one, -on -one, that individual, yeah. you know, kind of leadership mentality is something that we'll never get away from. Yeah. And we will be flying on a private jet from yes. conference to conference because so, I don't like to fly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, you're right. And what's funny is um, I can't I can't see my wife because of the ring light, but um, she agrees with me. No, I know, but what's interesting is, like, when we met, all we wanted to do was conferences together, but in our minds, it looked completely different. Like, we thought we were gonna be doing something else. Yes. What's that? Nothing. It's oh. a true love. <laughs> That's the emotional part, of Etienne. <laughs> Whatever Enneagram number that is. Six, um, six. Well, that has nothing to do with the Enneagram. Anyways, um, but anyways, what I'm saying is, again, hearing you guys say those things, it's like all of our it's not my dream. It's like all of ours coming together to go. It's not just you, it's your family. It's you and your friends and your family. And it's me and our friends to go, man, this is something that is for all of us, but it looks different than we thought. Like, I mean, 2021 has already looked different than I thought. And it continues to change, but you have to ride that wave and go, I gotta make the momentum sometimes. And so I think with conferences and, um, yeah, I think that's going to be good. I think that's, I think those are really good. So <clears throat> we're going to wrap up pretty quick, but before I will let Etiana first and then Adina, what is something that 
you would want us to know about you um, <clears throat> that maybe we haven't said here. But first, you know, so think about that. Uh, but I told my wife this, that, that I need you guys to understand that um, it's, I'm very, very picky about who I invite in the <laughs> inner circle, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my small group of people are always the same. And it's not that of like, man, he doesn't meet new people, because I meet new people all the time. <clears throat> but the trust factor for me is, um, it's up there. So like being able to read people to go, are they gonna make us better? Are they gonna just hold us there? Are they gonna be a Debbie Downer or draw us back? And so one, thanks for the content, the creative, <laughs> the, the web, <clears throat> but it's all the confidence that I have in you because of the work we've had in the relationship, right? And so um, I need you to know that, that you're a part of this team because you're chosen, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I want people to know that that's hearing this and that they're going, oh, I know her. But yeah, you're bringing what you bring to the table because you're chosen to be here and then you're going, hey, I want to be here. So thank you for what you do. Thank you. So yeah, what do, what do we not know about Etiana that you want to share? Oh man, there's a lot. Uh, I think for me, I want to actually go back to a question you brought up earlier. Like, what is it? <coughs> that's been the cost, right, of doing this. And in so many ways, um, the cost for me has been comfort, mm -hmm. right? It's really easy to lean on what you know and lean on the situation, but you, you know, you have just been in day to day, the people that are day to day for you. And um, I think that's something that I've, I've really had to challenge myself with is giving up that comfort and being willing to push for something new, a, a dream that's bigger, a dream that isn't even complete, right? Mm -hmm. Leaving my friends and um, the people I love and yeah. the safe place, right? Safe family. Um, and being willing to do it for a mission and an impact that's bigger than myself and bigger than, you know, my little safe zone. So I think that's something that I, I talk about probably with the people that are in my circle the most is like, this has not been easy and it's not easy to put your work in. All the work I do is very visible to everybody. Yeah. Yep. And it's very easy to judge, especially when it's social media. So um, <laughs> yeah. as much as I do it and as much as I love it, like I do it scared. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just a part of this. It's a part of being willing to grow and learn. Um, so I think that's one of those things is I've given up comfort and mm -hmm. I've done things just scared <laughs> yeah. um, for, I think, a, a bigger mission, a bigger impact than yeah, my comfort zone. I don't know what else. I've got five brothers and a sister, and I'm the best kid of all of them. There you um, go. Super fun, cool. I don't know. <laughs> what else? I don't know what comes to. I don't know exactly what you're looking that's for. That's how I felt the last one. I know. That's just kind of weird, huh? Um, that's favorite. Easy. I mean, who do you follow that is a influencer that you go? This is cool. That's made for more. It's made for more consulting. Okay, that's all that's all <laughs> Um, who else do I follow that's an influencer? I follow a lot of people that do like creative stuff. So mm -hmm. um, this might be it, like it out there, but Creative Church is a really good one I like. They put together a lot of cool content. Yeah. Um, and I like that it's specifically for, you know, a mission, right? It's, yeah. it's impactful. It's not just like putting words on a picture and putting yeah. it out there. Yeah. So, and it's also content that's made for other creatives. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm listening to, uh, oh man, the Content Creative Podcast. So it's people who are content creators and influencers and they help other content creators learn how to do that. How do you price your business? How do you, you know, what should be your Instagram bio and stuff like that. Yeah. So. And so constantly learning is something that I can't make you do. Yeah. And so, or, or Dino or my wife or anyone else. And that's what we're about. So yeah. that's cool. That's good. Thanks. Um, Adina. That's what you're for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> with Adina, I just want you guys to know we've worked together for 13 years off and on. Our family is have we we've, we've actually stayed at their house because our water got turned off within the first couple of years. What um, we uh, what else have we done? Um, I mean, me and Darren have gone on countless trips. Uh, Jamie yeah. and I have been on girls trips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, I mean, we've gone over. I mean, maybe I can't, I can't remember. So there's not, there's times that we've gone over and just hung out. We're in a small group together, but really, <clears throat> I think. The funny thing about you and I is like, 
I still go back to the time that I told you that your tact sucked. <laughs> yeah, you said, said, I think you might need to work on your tact. <laughs> yeah. and, and, but the other, it goes, I, 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 what I love is that when we're in the same office and our supervisor hears us going at it, oh, yeah. he walks in and goes, are you guys okay? I'm like, we're just talking we're things just out. Talking. <laughs> and it's it's not it's heated, but it's going. We're trying to push each other to get better. So what you've done is obviously, you. It's like what we've said before: is you you see the best in other people. It's what that post said. You see the best in people, and you see that they're made for more. But you call us out on it. Like when I told you I was starting a, a company, you're like, I don't think you're gonna do it. <laughs> and you, but you knew. But you were saying, here's what you're gonna have to start doing. Mm -hmm. And then also, I mean, even with my wife, pushing the women around you to grow in an uncomfortable situation going hey it's not gonna be easy but you call them to that and so for our team i know that that's going to continue um, i know you got your stuff outside of there but like i said i think the made for more community is going to benefit a lot because of what you see in us and we just got to take that and run with it um for as long as it goes uh but yeah i want to thank you for that personally seriously because i know that there was a uh I think my wife at one time I was going off I was this is weird I was going off on a trip by myself to study for some freaking half the year that I was going to create content for as far as for teaching and she had my friend write cards to me right while I was out and Adina said hey at some point we're going to work together and so I remember going hey we don't work together now but and then now we work together outside of here outside of May for morning go yeah that's not what I think I meant and so now it's interesting that we're working together and it's it's pretty cool. I think that's cool. And then the fact that you've talked about conferences and the fact that we're, again, I think I see momentum going. The doors are opening, but it's not easy to get there. So uh, I appreciate you for that um, and your family. But, um, and your daughter works for me, which is interesting. I know. So, that is, that is she a was one of my other students. twist. Yeah, when you have students that, that your students work for you now, so interesting. Um, <laughs> but anyways, what about you? What are some things you want people to know about um, as we wrap this up. Well, I feel like everybody knows everything about me because I talk every single week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. Um, but you know, I think one of the things that I've recently discovered about myself is that while I have this deep like desire to want people to be better, I feel like I do. I can see something in people and I know that they can be, they, that they are made for more. Like I can just see that. Um, that over the years that I've had that same desire for different communities of people, you yeah. know, and we went through a phase where we were foster parents and then we adopted, you know, a couple of kids through foster care. And, you know, for a long time, <coughs> that was a huge, like, um, mission and a focus. Mm -hmm. And I think that I thought, well, that's it. Like, that's going to be like what my, what my life mission is now it's yeah. going to be you know kids that you know have come out of foster care and working with what i'm doing now what i'm learning is that changes for me like yeah. my mission and my vision are constantly changing for the people that i want to pour my life into the people that i want to see grow and right now i don't know who that i don't know who that's going to be next yeah. you know and i think that that's kind of I, I have some really good ideas about the next you know, area that, that it's going to be that I'm leaning towards. But um, I think that was a really interesting discovery yeah. is that it's, it, it, it changes and that's okay. And, and I'm excited about, you know, yeah. kind of what's coming up next. And I love to challenge other people, Definitely. which is I'm constantly <laughs> like, you know, I try to ask, can I challenge you on that? And sometimes I just do it anyway. Um, I think you ask about 10% of the time. The rest of the time, <laughs> well, I, okay. time But sometimes I don't even know it's a challenge. Like, yeah. right? Like, I don't I don't know. I just feel like I'm asking you something that you should. And then you see the look in the other person's face. Like, mm -hmm. um, but I also, yeah. somebody pointed out to me that mm -hmm. I also really love to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. And that has been a huge, like, aha moment. That yeah. And it kind of caused me to be like, okay, I do really like to challenge myself. But I need yep. to make sure that it is worthy of a challenge, mm -hmm. you know. And so yep. I do do a lot of things just to challenge myself. But I like it. I have to yep. be challenged. That would be so boring in life if there was no challenge. You're right. You're right. Well, that's good. I mean, I think I think I just want people to see that um, across.
across the board, we all had the same heartbeat, and it was just coming together alongside each other going, we, didn't, we don't have a plan. I mean, we have a plan, <laughs> but there wasn't this big plan to go, um, hey, let's do this with Made For More. No, this is just something that we all believe in, <clears throat> and it's beginning to make this community. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been awesome. So I appreciate both of you guys being here. Next week will be uh, interesting because I don't know if I should be in the room. Um, maybe I should just let Jamie sit in here with you and um, will allow you to lead that. I don't know. <laughs> Over 2.0? Yeah, <clears throat> we'll see. Um, but yeah, so for the next couple weeks, guys, that I think the challenge for, for me today, the challenge, uh, the next steps for you today, for me, action steps, whatever it's called, would be um, think through where you're leading and are you are you are you being complacent? And like Etienne said, are you leading, um, or maybe you're not even leading? Are you willing to lead out of fear? Are you willing to go, hey, I gotta jump, I gotta do something? And then just like Adina had said, <clears throat> how are you like the self growth? Are you are you even aware that you're not growing? Are you aware that you are? And celebrate that and go, okay, I gotta continue to do that. I gotta I gotta see how my life has to adjust. This whole seesaw thing of you know, there's gonna be a balance. And sometimes it's going to be out of balance, but are you growing personally? What are you doing to do that? And um, yeah, I just wanted you to know a little bit more about uh, Etiana and the Dean on her team. Next week, we'll hear from my wife. And then the following week after Jamie is on, um, we're going to have a live podcast, which is going to be a live audience. Um, you will probably see that recorded or uh, I don't know if we're going to do it live on the web, but I know it's going to be a, an audience driven um, podcast. So that's gonna be different. And then we're gonna start our book in August and we're still debating whether it's gonna be Fortitude or Atomic Habits. And so just just be aware of that. Get those two books either way and just read them. Uh, I think they're really good. And yeah, follow us on the socials, uh, Instagram, At Twitter. Make for more consulting. There you go, that's the other that. those. Um, and then YouTube, continue to follow us on YouTube. It's great. Then, uh, Hey, we got a new review on, um, what is it, Pod, Apple Podcasts, mm -hmm. uh, iTunes, whatever it is. It was pretty cool because they uh, they left. I don't know who it is. They just said it was, it was some leadership stuff. I had no idea who it was, <laughs> but it's cool. I, I love seeing those, and it helps us out. So leave a review. Give us five stars if you feel like we deserve that. Adina always says just give us five stars. But, again, tonight, thank you, episode 28. We continue to get more people following us, downloads, listens, and I appreciate you guys greatly. Tatiana, Adina, thank you all so much for being here, being a part of the team. And for all of us, remember, we exist for more. You're here to offer more. Don't ever give up because every single one of us is made for more. We'll see you guys later. Oh. Is it? Hey, guys, uh, YouTube. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a... Jamie's like, don't say anything you're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. uh, hope you guys have a great evening. Check us out. Share this. We'll, we'll try to get better audio for YouTube. we got to get a professional okay, setup. We will but get better audio. We will at some point. So, uh, Hope you guys have a great night. <laughs> See y'all.